Howdy friends, welcome back to the Eclectic Sam YouTube channel and welcome back to my Eclectic Corner of YouTube where I predominantly talk about selling on e eBay, reselling in general, and stuff like that, like thrifting and so forth. But from time to time you might see a little uh, trip out of me or a vlog or talk about some history or maybe a little story. Before we get started, you see down below that subscribe button, hit that. It doesn't cost you a thing, plus it gives you the ability to see what's coming in the future, plus it helps me out. I was sitting here today, and it's a real dreary day if you see out the front window there. I was sorting through some baseball cards and stuff, and I thought might give you a little bit of uh, what sold recently on uh, eBay. Um, it's been a good past couple of days. Um, let's start out with the first item. The first item was a Johnny Lightning brand uh, Aladdin uh, lunchbox. This was an old metal lunchbox. Um, neat little thing about it is sold for $29.99 with free shipping. Um, it was in good shape as far as no dents and dings, but it did have a lot of surface rust from it. Um, I've been putting this uh, lunchbox out at, uh, at uh, sales that I've been going to, like uh, swap meets and all, for a couple of years now, and it never did sell. And I usually had about fifteen dollars or so on it but nobody ever bought it and uh kind of funny that i sold it on ebay after i listed it on there for 29.99 with free shipping so that was a good sale um next up we had my last of the jason Voorhees uh mezco i believe it was a mezco yeah mezco um action figure I had about uh, $30 in those. I bought them in a lot. And that sold for $54.99 plus shipping. Uh, so I finally got all those sold. Made my money back a long time ago on those. Um, next up, we have a vintage uh, Tri Delta uh, sorority shirt. It was probably from the late 60s, early 70s. Just a little polo style shirt that a sorority girl would wear or whatever. Um, it sold for $23.99 plus shipping. And I had a dollar into that from a lot that I got from my local uh, thrift store. So that was a good sale right there. Next we have a uh, vintage Hot Wheels. They came from a lot of Hot Wheels. Um, like I've told y'all in the past, I usually average about 25 cents to 50 cents on paying for these. This one was is kind of a rare one. It's a sought after one. It's the um, Show Off Challenger with the Dixie Challenger orange paint. There were several different variants of this. This was the Dixie Challenger without the Rebel flag on the roof. So um, that sold for $22.99 uh, with free shipping. So that was pretty good. You know, a little Hot Wheels for $22.99. That was a real good sale right there. Uh, next up is Orvis uh, Men's Houndstooth Print. Long sleeve shirt. Um, you probably saw that from my last thrift haul. I had, I think, $3.65 into that. Uh, it sold for $20 with free shipping. Now, Orvis is a real good brand. That shirt should have sold for quite a bit more. But when I started to take pictures of it, I noticed that I missed a big stain on one of the sleeves. So I just priced it down a little bit low. Still made money on it. And I noted in the description that about the um, the stain. So somebody got a good deal and uh, I still made money. Um, this next shirt I've had for quite a while. 
And when I first got it, I thought, oh, wow, this is a cool Western shirt. This is going to be worth a good bit of money because of the embroidery on it and everything. But come to find out it was a mass-produced um, shirt by Lifeway Christian Stores for um, uh, for uh, one of their um, study group type things where, um, you know, like summer school for church or whatever. Um, so it wasn't worth that much. There was a lot of them for sale. This one sold for ten ninety nine plus shipping. I think I had three dollars into that shirt. So. Um, next up is something to keep an eye out for. Was a framed set of um, train stamps, and this was actually a framed set from the post office. Uh, Back, I believe it was in the 90s and early 2000s, the post office would actually sell framed uh, stamps with like prints and stuff like that along with them. This was one of those. This one sold for $8.99 plus shipping, and I'd found it at a local thrift store. So that, uh, I think I paid a dollar for it. Mm -hmm. Next up is two pairs of shorts. They were Mizuno brand shorts. Just little cover-up shorts or running shorts. Um, these came from a lot of items that I got from a friend. Um, the first one was a yellow pair for $9.99. And then a red pair for $6.99. The red pair had a little um, spot or defect on them. So that's why they didn't sell for as much. Um, and those went combined shipping to the same person. And, you know, being free, that was all good money right there. Of course, uh, the, the buyer paid for the shipping, but I refunded uh, part of the shipping to the, to the buyer. Next up... Um, as a mug, these mugs I get from a um, a the manufacturer actually. Um, it's a company that I buy some stuff from. Uh, that's why you see the stock photo because I have permission from them. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you buy stuff straight from the manufacturer, mm -hmm. buying that from them gives you permission to use the mm -hmm. stock photo. And I had to submit to them my website and everything, or my eBay store. So if they ever came across their stock photo, they could search and see if I had permission to use that. But that mug sold for nine ninety nine plus shipping. It was a a priority more mail uh, weight, so the shipping was a little bit more on it. Um, and I believe I have about $2.50 into those. Need to re-up an order from that company. Next one um, is a piece that has a little story to it. Um, this was a Woolrich, a vintage Woolrich flannel jacket. It's a wool jacket. Nice, beautiful green plaid jacket. Um... This uh, came from my father. Um, I know y'all have seen here recently, I've been selling some stuff coming from him. He's been cleaning out a storage unit that he had and just giving me stuff that he doesn't want anymore. And he was either going to donate, throw away, or, you know, whatever. So he's been bringing it to me to sell. Um, this jacket was one of the first things that he ever financed from someplace. He got it back in the 60s when he was in the military in uh, Montana, when he was stationed in Montana. And he's had it all this time. Of course, he's grown out of it over the years, but it was still in impeccable condition. It was just real nice condition. It was missing three buttons, so... But, um... 
he, he said that, I think he said he paid weekly on it. But um, this uh, jacket sold for $100. Mm -hmm. So yeah, keep an eye out for vintage Woolrich, especially vintage Woolrich jackets. That jacket, if it was absolutely perfect with the buttons and everything, would have sold for about $150, $160. So those are well worth uh, finding. And the funny thing is, I don't know if y'all do this sometimes, on the expensive sales, you kind of mm -hmm. Google the address that it's going to, just out of curiosity. This mm -hmm. was going to a $6 million home in Seattle, Washington. Uh, probably in Seattle, that's not an expensive home, I don't know. But mm -hmm. here in North Georgia, it sure is. So it was pretty neat, you know, interesting sale. Um, last up is a book. Um, it's called I Remember T-Model Days. It's about the county that I live in here in Jackson County, Georgia. Um, it was autographed by the the author. Um, this came from my dad out of a uh, storage locker as well. It was sold for $24.99 with free shipping. And that went by media mail, so... Yeah, I think it cost like two dollars and fifty cents to ship that one. Mm -hmm. So that was a good sale right there. Starting to do pretty good with some of the books. Books can be long tail, but I like selling books because they're so easy to photograph, so easy to list that you know, and it doesn't cost much to ship them either. Um, of course, you do need to have you know the room to store them because. You know, long tail items, but you can make some good money off of them. But uh, that's what sold. I uh, was pretty happy with the sales in the past few days. Things are doing good. Like I've said, you know, I've been trying to list uh, regularly. I'm starting to go through some of my baseball cards and some of the ones that I don't want to keep from my personal collection. I'm going to start listing them up, up as auction items. Um, with the new, um, eBay, you can ship baseball cards with a value of up to $20 in a regular envelope and get a, uh, a cheaper rate shipping on eBay. There are some stipulations to it as far as the size of the envelope and how you ship them and everything, but... Um, if you're interested in sports cards, uh, check check that out because it, it can help you out in sales because mm -hmm. you don't have to charge as much in shipping. But uh, I'm uh, going through these and I've found a few so far and probably list two or three a day uh, as auctions and just see how well I do. If anything, it'll be, you know, some extra... Mm -hmm icing on the cake with my ebay but uh i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and hit that like button and as always make sure you subscribe so you can see what's coming in the future and also comment down below any questions suggestions or anything like that that you might have but until next time my friends i love you bye